Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, you will learn how to solve problems about the set and subsets of real numbers. If you don't know what the subsets of real numbers are, watch our video that teaches you all about it. Hit the I button to go to that video first or click the link to that video in the description. You also need to understand set symbols, like the element of symbol or the not an element of symbol. You can hit the I button to learn about those or click the link to that video in the description. Once you understand set symbols and the subsets of real numbers, you can continue watching this video for the exercises in this worksheet. After I show each problem, there will be a 3 second countdown before I start solving. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first. When you're done, or if you need help, just continue playing the video to see the solution. Okay, let's start! True or false, negative 75 is a whole number. Let's review. The set of whole numbers are the counting numbers plus 0. Negative 75 is not included in this set, so the answer is false. True or false, 0 is an integer. What is in the set of integers? Integers include the numbers in the set of whole numbers plus the opposite or negative of the positive whole numbers. 0 is in this set, so the answer is true. Negative 5 is an element of Q. Q represents the set of rational numbers. These include the set of integers plus numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Negative 5 is in this set, so the answer is true. Negative 4 is an element of n. N is the set of natural numbers. These are our counting numbers. Negative 4 is not in this set, so the answer is false. Two-thirds is an element of Q. Like mentioned in the earlier problem, Q represents the set of rational numbers which can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Two-thirds is the ratio of integers 2 and 3, so the answer is true. 6 and 1 fourth is an irrational number. The set of irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. 6 and 1 fourth is the same as 25 over 4. This is the ratio of the integers 25 and 4, which means it is not in the set of irrational numbers. The answer is false. Are you getting the hang of identifying whether a number belongs to a certain subset? Let us know in the comments if you want more of this kind of exercise. Now let's try other kinds of questions. What is this set called? This is the set of counting numbers plus zero. This is called the set of whole numbers. A blank is a positive integer greater than zero. This describes the set of numbers that include 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. This is the set of counting numbers 
for natural numbers? The answer is counting number or natural number. True or false? Not every whole number is an integer. This is our diagram for the set of integers. It includes the set of whole numbers. All whole numbers are integers. The answer is false. True or false, every negative integer is a rational number. This is our diagram for the set of rational numbers. It includes the set of integers, so it also includes all the negative integers. The answer is true. True or false, there are rational numbers that are not integers. Again, this is our diagram for the set of rational numbers. This includes the set of integers plus the numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. 5 over 4 is a rational number, but it is not an integer. So, the answer is true. True or false? No rational number is an irrational number. This is our diagram for both the set of irrational numbers and the set of rational numbers. They don't overlap because they don't have any common elements between them. None of the rational numbers are in the set of irrational numbers. The answer is true. True or false? Some rational numbers are negative. Remember problem number 10? Every negative integer is a rational number. Other negative rational numbers are those that are the ratio of two integers. So yes, some rational numbers are negative. The answer is true. True or false? Not every irrational number is a real number. The set of real numbers includes the set of rational numbers plus the set of irrational numbers. Every irrational number is included in the set of real numbers. The answer is false. And there you have it for this problem set. How did you do? We would love to know more about your math journey. Comment below which problem you find most interesting and tell us why. For a more challenging worksheet about the set and subsets of real numbers, watch the next Solve Along video. Be sure to like and subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math. Thanks for watching!